what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today you see behind me it's a uh, it's a beautiful florida sunny day out today no not really it's actually raining pretty crappy out so uh we're gonna tear into the rear end today so this is a 10 bolt that we got it's a5 gear 10 bolt gm and uh, like i was saying in the previous video we did the s10 brake conversion the uh disc brakes in the back they didn't really work out so well, they're not going to work out for what we're doing next. So we're actually going to ditch this, we're going to tear it apart. Um, we did, like I said, we had it apart, so all new gear oil, there's nothing wrong with it. All the gears were fine inside and whatnot, so we're going to tear into it and uh, see what we find. And then i got to take some measurements and uh, send them off to Strange to get our brakes and our C-clip eliminators and our heavy duty uh, axle and our spool and all that good stuff. Make this thing pretty bulletproof. So right here guys, you can see our magnet, it's got some material on it so maybe this thing was eating itself alive or something because we did, probably didn't even put a hundred miles on this car after putting the uh, the new uh, ARP studs on the uh, axles and tearing it apart. So we'll see. You know for just being changed, this oil still stinks. Gear oil is probably the nastiest stuff out there. So you can see, it might be a little hard, but you can kind of see our wear pattern. So whoever did rebuild this rear end, you know, it's got decent wear patterns, so maybe it's a clutch is giving out. We'll see. It's all getting replaced, so not too big of a deal. So the rear ends tore down, um, took the old 456 gears out, got the axles out. They're actually turned out to be a 28 spline axles, which actually I think is a little rare for a 10 bolt. Same thing with the brake registry, uh, uh, brake register size as well. And I think uh, if I remember off the top of my head, it's like 2.810 for most 12 bolts and early 10 bolts. But most 10 bolts have like a 2.725 brake register size. And what I mean by that, is this little lip right here basically what centers the brakes on the uh, rear end so since we're doing a c-clip eliminator kit with our uh, strange brakes and axles and whatnot so this whole stub right here that holds the bearing will get hacked off um, I already found the uh, brake register size like 2.8 uh, it's closest to the 2.8 size it's a little dirty rusty so I might be getting a little false reading. I might have to uh, clean this up just to see. But um, yeah, those will get hacked off. And then uh, C-clips will be installed. Oh yeah, C-clip eliminator, sorry. So all I gotta do is take the brake lines off. Still got the bearing race inside. Gotta pull that off. And then um, what we'll do is cut this off, mock up all the brakes and axles, make sure everything fits. And then uh, go ahead and send it off for, for powder coating, or sandblasting and powder coating. So, and if you are interested in doing a S10 brake conversion or swap onto a GM 10 bolt, it's pretty easy. Got these actually from a junker, the backing plates. Hardware is an all new uh, e-brake cable brackets, which we're not going to use anymore since we're doing strange, uh, the uh, drag race brakes, the steels. 
S10 calipers, um, things were stop tech, braided lines, stock rotors. So I'll be selling this as a whole package, just to try to get some funds back, you know, pay for all that nice uh, strange parts coming. So, all right, that's going to do it. So that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. And it's a little short one, but uh, all we're doing is tearing apart the uh, rear end. So we'll do kind of a two part of a tear down. Uh, we'll do a mock up and then we'll send it off for a final sandblasting powder coating. Like always guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.